I'm going to show you how to access all of your logins and usernames and your passwords from your device and transfer it over to Bitwarden. Now, every Apple device, just like every Android, every Google device is going to save your passwords automatically and all of your logins or usernames, all of the sites and apps that you regularly use, whether it be Facebook, a banking site, a grocery ordering or food delivery site, what have you, it's going to save them automatically and it's going to save them in your settings on your device. You're going to click on settings, go to the top of the screen, and you'll see up here I've created this dummy account, John Smith. John Smith, Apple ID, is his email address. Now you could create your own iCloud email address if you wanted and use that as your Apple ID, or you could just use an existing email address, just keeping in mind that it should be secure. You already have your Apple IDs set up and your Apple ID, which is again, this email address right here at the top of the screen in your settings app, this right here should be linked to an email that's secure. And this is your interface for interacting with all of Apple's services and products, whether you're downloading something from the App Store or whether you are playing a game or logging into a particular account on an app or a website. This is how you're going to interface or interact with Apple's ecosystem. Just having this and having this set up makes it so that you have all of your logins and passwords saved. You should have this password written down somewhere. Uh, if you signed in and created your account a long time ago and didn't save your password, you might want to click change password. You can just enter the code to open up your phone, okay? And then you just create a new password. That's what you do if you don't remember the password that you use to create this Apple ID on the iCloud. This thing you see in settings at the top of the page. Now, if you don't remember what your password is, again, you click on your Apple ID and then you click on password and security and then you click change password and then you'll enter in the code to unlock your phone and you just enter in your new password and click verify. There is a way to create a password in Bitwarden and I'm going to show you that. I've opened my dummy account for Bitwarden for John Smith and we see at the bottom of the screen the blue My Vault button and then next to it is Send and then next to it is Generator and next to that is Settings. We're going to go back over to Generator at the bottom of the screen. We're going to make sure all of these blue buttons here are clicked so that the password that is generated is absolutely secure. And we're going to have each of these set to one, minimum numbers and minimum special characters. And the length of 14 or 16 is sufficient. That's a really good number for characters. And by characters, we mean letters, numbers, and other special quote unquote characters like exclamations and asterisks and such. Here we are. We've got a password that's generated. We can copy it. We can click back over into settings. And let's say we wanted to go in and change our password because we're not sure what our original one is. We go through all these steps we just went through. Then we've got everything copied. So we click paste and verify, click paste, and then we could click change. And if we did that, we would then open Bitwarden, go over here to my vault, and then we would, let's say, create a iCloud login. John Smith, we click on the password field, click paste, and then the username would be our email address. And let's go to the URL or URI and let's click www.icloud.com. Save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I did not actually go through the steps of changing my password. But you, if you do go through the steps of changing that password so that you're able to save it in Bitwarden, that's what you would do. Now going back over to settings, the we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down until we see passwords. Passwords is going to ask for our face or our thumbprint. Now I only have one login and password here that's saved because this is a dummy account and I haven't really opened up a lot of accounts with any websites or apps other than than Gmail for this John Smith dummy account. So we go back, click on this. And getting back to how did we get where we got, back to the home screen, we click settings. We scroll down to passwords, click on passwords. It asks us for our face or thumbprint. We click on the item that we want to export 
from here and import over to Bitwarden. As you can see, we can't do it automatically, but what we can do is we can click the username, click copy username, go over to Bitwarden, click the plus button up top. Yes, login is the type of information that we're going to save, so we'll keep that. And for the name, let's name this Gmail. Paste that username in, go back over. Okay, what was the password? Well, we click the password field, we click copy, we go back to Bitwarden, we paste it. Once we've saved this, this is the point in time where we can delete it if we've written it down anywhere else. Now it is saved forever. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna delete this because I already have this information saved. We don't need two copies of it. You are not going to do that. You're just going to keep the information and then you're going to go back over here, go to the next thing on the list, do the same procedure, click on it, copy the username, go back over to Bitwarden, click that plus button, not in name, but in username, we paste it. If her name, let's say Chase Bank login, if that's what we're adding in right now, Chase Bank login, we go to password and we go back over to settings, we click on password, we click on copy, we go back to Bitwarden. We go to the password area again and we paste that in and then we click save. So again, now we've got Chase Bank login here. I'm going to delete this because again, this is not a real Chase Bank login. I just copied and pasted in my email address, John Smith again because I wanted to demonstrate to you one more time how to do this. So repeat the process there with every single item that you have in passwords. But I do want to stress the fact that some of these passwords could be out of date because sometimes you just get an error with the Apple ID iCloud password keychain. It just doesn't always want to save correctly. And if you have duplicate items here, I would just click um, click the website or click change password on website. Go in and try the password that your iCloud keychain has saved for you. So in this instance, let's sign out of our email and then let's go ahead and click back on change password on website sean smith and then it should have that password saved let's click on keychain okay because that's where we're trying to check that it has the right information now we click next right here because this is gmail so next let's click not now because we don't know if this password is correct oh but look it's correct it signed us in now we know that this right here is the correct login and password to use to sign over onto Bitwarden and to enter it in here. Again, type is login. The name would be Gmail for John Smith. The username is the email address and the password is over here, the password. You click on it, you copy it. Then you go back over to Bitwarden and you paste it in. And I always scroll down to that URI area and then I will type in the web address like www.gmail.com and then I'll click save. I'm not going to click save here because I've already got it saved. Just walking you through the process. If you have any questions, let me know. It really is pretty easy. Another little side note is I want to show you you can send back and forth messages and information and files and all sorts of stuff to other users of Bitwarden. But you do have to have a paid membership to send files. I have a paid membership. You can send a text though. Let's say hi. Enter in Dominique. Go ahead and save it. That would save here and it would also show up on my Bitwarden. Now, Dominique is obviously my name and not my Bitwarden Vault account, which I'm not going to share. As I hope I've taught you by now, sharing information like that is just another potential vector for attack. Back over here to passwords. Uh, I'm going to click out, click out, and then I'm going to X out of settings. There's another way you can get in. Searching for the passwords, which is pulled on the middle of the screen. Your search bar comes up and then type in passwords. Click on the first thing that comes up. It'll ask for your thumbprint or your face scan, depending on what type of Apple device you're using. Boom, there we are. So there is a shortcut. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. 
And folks, I cannot stress this enough. This tutorial was specifically for iPhones and really for any Apple device. If you'd like me to talk about Windows devices, if you'd like me to talk about Android or Google devices of any kind, let me know. But they do work very similarly. All you need to do is figure out what your default password manager or password storage system is on your device. You could Google that. You could do a search on your device for passwords. I want you to feel confident and comfortable searching for anything that you might need and knowing that those answers will find you if you just go ahead and search. Thank you for watching.